everybody and welcome to my unruly housewife channel and welcome to another in the series of things that spark joy and that's because we have reached 2500 subscribers on this channel now how exciting i can't thank people enough and as usual what i like to do every 500 subscribers is to show you five things i own that spark joy and if you don't understand what i'm talking about Google Marie Kondo and all will become clear. Kondo with a K. Anyway, away we go. The first thing that sparked joy today is this book that Dave bought me. We're getting married in 2017. It's a ladybird book. British people will be familiar with these children's books. Um, I'm not sure about Americans, maybe not. But um, what they've done now is somebody has bought out a series of ladybird book parodies, I suppose that have an adult theme, but they've kept the old drawings. And believe me, I mean, this is so, or paintings. This is so much fun uh, for me because I had these books when I was little. So this one's called The Wife, and I'll read you this one just because it's fun. This is kind of, as I say, an original sort of picture. Wives like to be right. Sarah has been waiting for her husband, Tom, to arrive. He's half an hour late. Sarah is delighted. She knew this would happen. <laughs> So <laughs> there you go. Dave bought that for me. He's bought himself one called The Husband. I definitely recommend having a look at these uh, parody Ladybird books. So that is thing number one that sparks joy. Thing number two that sparks joy. And actually, I should have had this ready, shouldn't I? Look at this. This is so exciting. I found them in Lidl. I wouldn't plug myself into the mains, but these are battery operated. Look, wait, are you ready? Personal fairy lights. <laughs> are these great? <laughs> Anywhere you go, you can just have fairy lights around your neck. If I mean, I don't know if that's safe to do. Don't try that at home, kids. I'm trained. My father was an electrical fitter. So there you go. Personal fairy lights. Hi to the builders working on the house opposite. Yes, it gets worse than me just talking to the windowsill. <laughs> Um, it's a girly YouTubers quite often have fairy lights, don't they? Men apparently don't seem to have to, but um, I'm going to keep those on anyway. What is thing number three? Ah, yes, thing number three is this delightful, adorable little sailor suit, uh, romper suit that I got for Brandon when he was a baby. Isn't it cute? From a shop in Brighton called Nipper. And I just, I love sailor clothes. And look, this one's got little boats all over it. And even though it's like for a tiny baby, it's got a pocket in the back and everything. I don't think Nipper is still running, which is a shame because they made beautiful clothes. Well, that's adorable. Baby clothes are just gorgeous, aren't they? I don't have grandchildren. I only have grand dogs. <laughs> but when I do, baby clothes are just going to be so much fun to buy. Four. Now this is important and fun. This is a tin that I keep my tea bags in because I'm British. I need tea bags a lot. In fact, I'm running out. But what I love about this tin is it's so unexpected and original. <laughs> it's got a door. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I'm so easily pleased, but I've got this in the cupboard and I can just open the little door and get my tea bags out. And it clicks home, which is quite satisfying as well. So <laughs> that's thing number four. And thing number five, I'm going to have to make a bit of an effort with this and do some editing or something because I'm going to point you in another direction. Wow, but I think it's going to be worth it. OK, this is thing number five and it's a thing of such a drama. I think we'll just let it speak for itself and close out the video. It is the book of the Sith and with a very unusual delivery system. I love you all. Bye-bye.